can't even talk, guys. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. We are at Silver Dollar Motorsports Park and we are about to race the trucks. Uh, we got Project Storm here. Hopefully we're going to get a new personal best on that. Last time we was out, uh, Storm ran a 13.8. We're going to see if we can get a 13.7 or 6. And we have Frostbite as well. Um, as you guys know, last time out we did not get the quarter mile time slip but the draggy said we ran a 10.95. So we are hoping to actually get a real time slip today and an even faster time. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we're going to get a 10.8 or 10.7 uh, with just the Torque Storm Supercharger and the motor and all the changes that we just recently made to the intercooler. So there she is. We got her prepped and ready to go. We got some ice in the uh, ice box for the new air to water intercooler setup. And we have Project Clifford right there, as you can see. My son made the trip. This is going to be his very first time down the drag strip driving a vehicle himself in the Dakota. And we also hooked up a little nitrous kit last minute. Uh, so we're going to actually pop his cherry today on the drag strip. And he gets to use a little bit of nitrous today. So wish us luck on that. We're hoping that goes pretty smooth. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get some new personal best records. And I get my first... 10 second quarter mile time slip all right so here's project clifford we haven't had the truck on the channel uh, it's been a while but last minute and i mean last minute guys it's not pretty we got wires kind of showing everywhere but we threw on my old nitrous kit that we had on frostbite we got a little plate kit uh, right now we are probably going to run a 75 shot uh, maybe 100 shot on it we'll see how it goes but we got a wet kit with a plate and we got the purge hooked up over here and just temporarily i mean like i said guys this last minute we literally just ran a little pipe right here in the front so it shoots out the front bumper everything street trim we drove it here uh, he drove it all the way here from home which is about two and a half hours and it made the trip so far hopefully we get it back <laughs> Got the uh, 15 pound NX bottle in the back and got the torch ready as we don't have a heater blanket so we're going to do it old school method. Uh, we got the rookie driver, rookie driver right there, going to pop his cherry. Yeah, pretty, pretty massive pop. Dude.
hard for that shit. Holy shit. Whew. Holy bro. fuck. Bro. <laughs> bro. Fucking 10 fucking 5, dude. Fucking 10, 597 with no fucking spray, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, 125 mile an hour. My fucking mama was riding with me on that one, boys. 10 fucking 597. Holy shit. Whew. God. Holy shit, guys. Whew. I can't even talk, guys. 60 foot, 1421 guys, quarter mile, 10,597, 125.41 miles an hour, first pass off the fucking trailer, first one down the track too, first truck down the track, eighth mile, 6689, no nitrous, Clayton, show the damn truck over here. Over here, come, you should point it right here. A little behind the seat. Bottle's in my son's truck right now, guys. In my son's truck. All stock block 5.7. Cam, stock heads, stock throttle body. <laughs> JBA long tubes, torque storm supercharger on a 3-1 pulley. I don't even know how much boost it made. I didn't even log this pass, guys. But last time we come out here, and a 1200 DA, it made 13 pounds on the log. I don't know what the hell we just ran. I'm gonna have to look at the video footage. Single supercharger. E85 and meth, FRP tuning. Cope racing transmission. So I'm gonna say, get you some of that. Me and my team, we've been working hard as shit for this. Hard as shit. And we got it. I'm about to pass out. <coughs> My buddy Ryan just come over here. The DA is negative 505. 505. That's the best DA I've ever raced in in my entire life. Holy hell, guys. What'd you get? Both wheels went up on yours. Oh, I know. Both wheels. I could feel it, man. It fucking it it come up. side just as high as the Dude, driver's side. I watched it. 1.42160 foot. That was almost a 1.3. A 142160 foot on a Mopar LSD. 136100. You got a 136100. 13, Let me see that. Storm. Storm just ran a 13632. That's a personal best for Storm. Single torque Storm, completely stock 57 with a stock camshaft. FRP tuning on a stock 545 RFE. No converter or nothing in that truck. 136 four wheel drive crew cab on street tires. Hell yeah, 13.6 at 195. Hell yeah, I'm ready to go. Hell, I can go home now. Uh, hell no, I'm doing another, I'm doing hey, more runs. Everybody, please, I, I thank you for the support, for supporting the channel. 
<laughs> we took frostbite into a whole nother level than I never anticipated this truck to be in. Especially with stock 5.7. And uh, I appreciate you guys for being along for the ride to, and seeing the changes. If it wasn't for you guys, a lot of this stuff wouldn't happen. And uh, I want to thank FRP. I want to thank John Cope. For building a badass transmission. <laughs> Damn, get it together. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I want to thank Torque Storm Superchargers <laughs> for helping me get this thing going. And being there for me, it's helped. It's, it's changed this truck and channel a lot. <clears throat> I want to thank my family for letting me do this shit because I spent a lot of time at work and a lot of time racing. And I probably do more time than that be, be, than, be, than being with the family. <clears throat> but this is kind of a dream and a hobby for me, and they they, they understand that and they get it. I don't know if the truck was that fast or if my mom was making this truck haul ass like that or not. But a lot of you guys don't know, but that's my mom right there. She rides with me in frostbite all the time. She's always on these set of keys only. Keeps me safe and keeps this truck going. So hell yeah, I'm going to get my shit together and go watch my son get his first drag race now. But let's get to it. All right, Mopar fam, we are done today with Sunday Fun Day. Well, unfortunately, I did not really get a second pass that was any good. I tried two more hits, and after the first pass where we ran the 10597, I let the truck sit for probably about an hour and a half to two hours, let my, uh, let my son race and uh, get some passes in on his Dakota. Um, unfortunately, between first pass and then, um, the track just pretty much went away. Like everybody's packing it up, they're going home. Um, I went out there, tried on a second pass, and blew the tires up immediately. So I just rolled the rest of the track. Didn't even didn't even get a time slip for that because it was worthless. Um, blew the tires and I just rolled the rest of the track down. Came right back around again. Um, basically just re-hot lapped it, got right back in line, and figured I'd try it without trans brake launching it and just try to foot brake launch it. Um, figured it would probably hook then, even though the track was. You, you couldn't even hear the glue on the ground hardly anymore so i tried that and it still blew the tires up immediately as soon as the powers <clears throat> as soon as the power came in so that's it it's after four o'clock here and it's two and a half hour drive so we're gonna pack it up but we had a hell of a day finally got my 10 second time slip and it's a hell of a lot faster than i thought it was going to be for the first time out here right off the trailer first pass again 10 597 60 foot was 1.421 and the eighth mile was 6.689 and that was all motor and the torque storm supercharger no 35 shot of nitrous um, just motor and the blower only stock block 57 stock head stock throttle body that's long tubes and holly high ram air to water intercooler e85 FRP tuning, Flying Ryan. Um, we got the built 46RE Cope Racing transmission in the truck. And then obviously we got some little things here and there, but truck's running hella fast. And I'm stoked with that. I thought we might get a 10.8, 10.7. A 10.5 means the world to me right there for sure. I'm definitely happy with that. Um, I just wish there's more time today and I wish the track was gonna take it because we were gonna try to throw the little 35 shot at it and hope that it stays together and maybe we can get that down to, I don't know, a 10.5 flat or a 10.4, 10.3, I don't know. A um, little 35 shot definitely on a boosted application adds a pretty good little punch. So it sucks we didn't get to try that out today. There's always next season. Um, I don't know if I'll get to run again after today. I think this track's gonna shut down for the rest of the year. Um, I don't know about anybody else around us, but it's probably done for the rest of the season 
uh, until next year. So with that said, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what you think about old frostbite. Also, Storm did really good. We got a new record pass for Storm and we got some footage of my son racing for the first time with his Dakota and playing with a little bit of nitrous. So all in all, we had fun. It was a kick-ass day. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.